Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. So I have been really, really busy besides weeding and oh my gosh, the garden was a mess this year. And I know it's because the weather here was so crappy for so long. I feel like I'm like almost behind on everything because we couldn't get outside because it would snow and then it would kind of melt, but it was still cold. And then we had the ice Oh, it is awful. But let me turn this around so you can see what's going on because it's a lot. So let's go. Let's get busy. Let's get through this. All right, guys. So the first change is right here. And these, so there were three beds just like these here over there. They fell apart. And you can see the metal bands came off the crates, the boxes. And so I replaced them with these. Now, these are a little more expensive, but I'm telling you, these are going to last me a long, long time. Way better than these because if you look down there, you can kind of see this is what happened to the other ones. The wood is so thin that um, it, just, it just didn't hold up. So I changed them out, got two of those. These are a little bit expensive. They were $114 um, at... Uh, tractor supply but I know they're gonna last so I don't feel bad for and gardening is my specialty so I don't feel bad replacing them with something that's gonna last so we have here we have three jalapenos and one yellow bell pepper I have three tomato plants here I have all uh, cucumbers right here and I didn't plant any baby cukes this year in this bed because I want a little bit bigger this year. Now these right here are peas and then Alicia's got her herbs. There's dill, cilantro, and I don't know what that fluffy fuzzy thing is. <laughs> there wasn't a tag in it, so. <laughs> oh shoot. And then I have tomatoes here. I got big whoppers and something else. So those down there are cherry tomatoes. These are all your bigger slicers. So pretty stoked about it. And I'm doing kind of like an experiment. So this was stuff that came out of the gutter here on this side. And that side, I just tilled it up so you can kind of see where the line is at. So we'll see how that goes. And then this is zucchini. Yep, a zucchini. And I didn't pre-do any of plants except for uh, celery this year, which it's still too small to bring out to the garden. And this is another slicer. And then this is all romaine lettuce for Alicia wanted a lettuce. So, and then I still have the rest of this bed to plant stuff in. So I'm excited about that. And then this is a straight neck squash. It'll be great on the grill. And here is another zucchini. <clears throat> so we'll see how that, ouch, stepped on a stick. So we'll see how those go. Um, and then my strawberries are right here. And these are doing great. They're about to produce. And then I put another zucchini in this bed all by itself, which is great. And then this is our asparagus. And you can see it's already seeded out, which is great. So I hope I get more next year. But if I pan out, you can see the garden's done, guys. It's in. Now, there is, there is one thing that uh, needs to be addressed. The elephant in the room right here. So this is spearmint, and it is also regular mint. But... Look what we got. We got some problems. Um, and we have, this is Creeping Charlie all up in there. So I either need to half the bed and take out the Creeping Charlie and leave the spearmint and mint to one half of the bed because I wanna plant more herbs in here. And we, we keep trying to, but it gets um, it gets drowned out so I'm not sure how to 
I don't know, either I start all over or it's going to get a massive haircut. <laughs> yeah. And I don't really want to get rid of it because we've had it established, what, almost the whole time we've been here. These were one of the first couple of beds that we actually put in. So, I don't know. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you guys that. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it's very interesting. But I lo am loving those uh, water tanks. So what they are is they're water troughs for um, small animal. But I drilled holes in the bottom so I don't have to worry about them getting drowned out with water if we get too much rain or anything like that. So that's great. Yeah, and I still have half a bed back here. So if I wanted to, I don't know, what haven't I planted yet? Flowers and sunflower seeds is what I usually plant back here. Well, that's what I planted last year anyway. So we'll see. And I don't think I'm going to put anything in this one because it's just basically it's fiberboard. And I don't think it's going to hold up once I put dirt into it. So I'm probably just going to burn it and just be done with it. Um, just like this massive pile. So this massive pile over here, I got to burn too. So these are all the pallets and sticks and stuff and the weeds because I weeded the garden too. So that's going to have to be burnt once it dries out. But man, they were soaked. So, all right guys, that's the garden. Thanks for watching and happy growing season.